Coates, working for you. Beginning in the mid to late 2000s, original equipment manufacturers such as Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler began offering new rim designs. In particular, the OEMs began offering plastic chrome-clad wheels and high-spoke wheels on many popular vehicles. In this video, we're going to 1. Provide an overview of plastic chrome-clad wheels and high-spoke rims. 2. Identify the challenges presented by these designs. And 3. Provide you training and tips on how to change tires on these wheels without damaging them. So let's begin. Plastic chrome-clad wheels are wheels with an aesthetic face made out of plastic and clad to look like chrome. Unlike traditional hubcaps, the aesthetic plastic clad cover is permanently bonded to the outboard side of the alloy wheel and cannot be removed prior to tire service. Understanding that the wheel's plastic face cannot be removed and is thus susceptible to damage requires the tire technician to be able to 1. Identify the rim design and understand the risks prior to changing the tire. 2. Know how to correctly set up the tire changer for servicing these applications and three, properly perform the tire changing operation with the aid of assist tools. Not being able to perform these three steps significantly raises the risk of damaging these delicate wheel designs. The second wheel design the OEMs began to offer are high spoke wheels. Traditionally, wheels were designed so that the spoke would not extend beyond the outer plane of the rim flanges. As evident on Chevy Camaros, GMC Arcadias, and many other vehicles, the OEMs have begun offering high-spoke designs to their consumers as a standard package. Just like the steps to address the plastic chrome-clad wheels, if you can identify the rim design and understand the risks prior to changing the tire, know how to correctly set up the tire changer for servicing this application, and properly perform the tire changing operations with the aid of assist tools, you will lower the risk of wheel damage significantly. Next, let's dive into each step a little deeper. As mentioned, the first step in addressing the challenges of plastic chrome clad and high spoke rims is Step 1. Identification and understanding the application. To review, plastic chrome clad wheels are wheels with a plastic outer face that was made to resemble a metal chrome wheel. They are different than traditional hubcaps because the face is not removable as they are permanently bonded to the structural portion of the wheel. If you do not recognize a plastic chrome clad wheel and do not set up the mount demount head correctly or try to change it without proper technique, the tire tool or mount demount head may damage the wheel which may result in the costly replacement of the entire wheel, not just the front cap. To identify a plastic chrome clad wheel, first, you should turn the wheel around and view it from the backside also referred to as the inboard side. From this vantage point, there are a couple of telltale signs that the wheel is a plastic chrome clad wheel. The gap between the aesthetic surface and the structural portion of the spoke is a good indication that you are dealing with a plastic chrome clad wheel. In addition to the spoke, if you look through the center hole, you may see the plastic face extend beyond the structural mounting surface. Finally, if you carefully tap on the front of the wheel, you will be able to discern that the front is not made of metal. Moving to high spoke wheels as it pertains to step one, identification. High spoke wheels are wheels designed such that the spoke extends beyond the rim's edge. The angle of the spoke can be such that the highest point is near the center hole or vice versa, in which case the highest part of the spoke is nearest to the rim flange and is of greatest risk of damage. Should you not recognize the high spoke design and set the mount demount head between the spokes, lock it into place, and then begin to rotate, you are risking severe damage to the wheel and potentially the tire changer. To identify this application, the operator can lower their line of sight even to the rim flange after it is clamped to the tire changer, or you can take a straight edge and carefully place it on the outer flange to determine if the wheel's face extends beyond the flange. Successfully performing step one, identification and understanding the application is a critical step in avoiding the risk of damaging the wheel. Step two is knowing how to correctly set up the tire changer for the application. The first key to step two 
is selecting the correct mount demount tool and installing the duck head for the wheel application and if applicable, checking to ensure the protective covers are in place and in good condition. Over the years, Coates has developed four different mount demount duck heads and many of the tire changers in your store may have one of the following installed. The traditional duck head, made completely out of steel, were designed when steel wheels were the dominant wheel on the road. The metal design keeps a low profile head requiring the operator to lift the bead the shortest distance. With the introduction of alloy wheels, plastic protective inserts were designed and should be employed on these applications. Remember, when using a metal duck head, always check to ensure that the plastic protective insert is securely in place and in good condition. As alloy wheels became more popular, Coates developed the black plastic standard duck head. This design provides maximum protection for alloy rims but has a larger knob on the head requiring the operator to lift the bead higher and presents challenges on UHP fitments, especially if the tire's bead is not in the drop center 180 degrees opposite of the head. With popularity of high spoke applications, Coates developed the gray high spoke duck head with a higher clearance. Just like the standard black duck head, the high spoke mount demount tool is completely made out of plastic for maximum rim protection. And just recently, Coates released the hybrid duck head which combines the smaller profile and rigidity of the metal duck head as well as the plastic protective floating tail that hugs the rim resulting in the least amount of stress on the tire. This design combines the advantages of the plastic duck heads with the metal duck heads and should always be used with a plastic protective insert in the head. When changing tires with a plastic chrome clad wheel, Coates recommends using one of the plastic duck heads or the hybrid duck head. In particular, with the UHP fitments, the smaller head profile means the bead does not have to travel as far during the bead lifting part of the demount process, putting less stress on the operator and toolbar. When using the hybrid duck head, it is imperative to make sure that the protective plastic insert is snapped into the head and you should always remember to adjust the swing arm knob. If not, the metal duck head could come into contact with the wheel. When changing tires with a high spoke wheel, Coates recommends the gray high spoke duck head or the hybrid duck head. To install the recommended mount demount head, First, remove the traditional black plastic or metal duck head with a 9 16 inch wrench or socket. To do so, simply unscrew the bolt by moving the socket wrench in a counterclockwise direction. Once the bolt is removed, the mount demount head can be removed. To install a gray high spoke or hybrid duck head, set the 9 16 inch bolt aside and replace it with the provided button head screw. The button head design reduces the risk of damage and can be installed with a 7 30 seconds Allen wrench. Now that the appropriate mount demount head is installed, the operator can complete proper setup by moving the swing arm into position, pull the locking handle forward to release, push down on the vertical slide to move the demount tool into contact with the rim edge. Note, if this is a high spoke application, the spoke should be aligned directly under the mount demount tool. Push the locking handle back and lock the slide into place. As the slide is locked, the mount demount tool will move upward approximately 1 8 inch from the rim edge. At this point of the process, if this is a high spoke wheel, it is recommended that the operator visually check the clearance between the wheel and the mount demount tool. Now that the mount demount tool is vertically positioned to clear the wheel by an 8 to 3 16 of an inch, the operator should rotate the swing arm adjustment knob clockwise until the mount demount head is a quarter of an inch away from the rim's edge. Failure to maintain proper clearance may result in damage to the wheel or tire. The final step in changing a tough application without any damage is to use the assist tools available to keep the bead in the drop center, reducing stress on the tire, the machine, and yourself. The assist tools available to keep the bead in the drop center are the traveling robo arm. With 18 inches of stroke and 28 inches of travel, this tool can help you during the top bead demounting step by pressing the sidewall down into the drop center. This is achieved by placing the robo arm 180 degrees from the duck head. The second job of the robo arm is the ability to hold the tire up so the operator can position the bottom bead in the drop center when demounting the bottom bead. 
The third and most used opportunity to use the robo arm is to press the tire down and into the drop center when mounting the top bead. Finally, if you have a UHP or difficult fitment, the robo arm can assist by pushing the tire down so the duck head roller can be installed prior to mounting the top bead and prior to removing the roller after the mounting process is complete. In addition to the traveling robo arm, the duck head roller and the manual bead depressor combination can be utilized during the top bead mounting step to keep the bead in the drop center. So to summarize, the three key steps to ensure a damage-free operation on a high spoke or plastic chrome clad wheel, one, identify the application and understand the risks prior to changing the tire, two, set up the machine properly by selecting and installing the correct mount demount head, adjusting the swing arm position by turning the adjustment knob, and visually checking the clearance between the rim and mount demount tool, and finally, Always use the assist tool such as the robo arm to ease the stress on the tire, wheel, machine, and you, the technician. This concludes the main portion of the training video. Additional sections including overview and wheel designs and general tire changing tips follow in this video's appendices. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your local Hennessy representatives, which can be found at www.amcoats.com. Coats. Working for you.